Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy back with a quick win on how to use the new Ionic input mask. Because since Ionic version 7.1, we have cool input mask. And the theme is actually to Mosquito, which is used under the hood. But we can now easily use this with Ionic. I guess we could have actually used this before. Um, so not sure exactly what Ionic did, but uh, the elements are now ready and I'm going to show you how you can use cool input masks. So here we go. I already started a blank new Ionic app. I used Angular, but you could also use React or Vue. Then I went into the app and installed the Mosquito Core package and Mosquito Angular. But this could also once again be React or Vue. And then I served my application. This is the first step in using the new input mask. So you actively need to opt into this. This is not automatically coming with your Ionic application. Now, if you want to use this, you would now go to your module file. And within the module, you would import the Mosquito module. So whenever I used something or looked up something for Mosquito on Google, I found exactly zero results because I was always finding something about mosquitoes. I don't know if you have the same problem. Uh, you need to be really specific to find anything about this. So um, Mosquito is used under the hood and is the star of the show. What is Mosquito? It's a collection of libraries built with TypeScript. That's always a great sign. It helps you create an input mask, which ensures that user type values according to predefined format. For example, credit card, birthday, uh, phone number, anything like that. So let me give you a simple example of how this works. I'm going to remove most of the stuff in here because we don't really uh, need that. We could probably give it a different kind of header. So let's see. OK, here we go. And now we can create our inputs, just like always, ion item, ion uh, input. Um, yeah, that looks interesting, whatever Copilot is telling me here, but I don't really want this. What I want is I want to use in a mosquito element and I want to use, um, or actually mosquito and mosquito element. So this is the important part for setting up our um, mask. Now, what do we need to pass in? We need to pass in two things. So the mask is simply a mask that defines what users can input. And usually we would use a regular expression for that. For example, we could use these masks that I took from the Mosquito documentation, which is a regular expression to allow only digits or a specific mask for a time input. So two numbers. Uh, then we have this and then we got another two numbers here. So very simple. More complicated is how we need to um, pass the actual input element to Mosquito. Because by default, if you just use an HTML input field, it would just work with Mosquito. Mosquito would find that input and get the value. However, since we're using an ion input, um, the input is actually in that shadow DOM and we need to extract this for Mosquito with a specific function. So there's a function that you can use mosquito element predicate async. There's actually also one just predicate, but with Ionic, uh, we can get the underlying input element like this. And now we can pass this predicate to the mosquito element. Uh -huh. And then we can pass our options in here. So that was the uh, digits only mask. Please just use predicate. And I'm going to probably add label. Uh, cool, cool number. And we're going to hit save. And then we got the input and I can't show you this before. Well, maybe I can show you like if I press a character, it's not adding the character. If I'm pressing a number, it's adding the number. <laughs> so perfect proof. This is perfect YouTube after eight years. If you enjoy tips and tutorials like this, you will love what I've created inside the Ionic Academy. The Ionic Academy is the best place to learn Ionic fast with practical courses ranging from UI development to connecting to APIs or using services like Firebase. On top of that, you get support in our private Discord server. You get a weekly email about all the things going on in the Ionic ecosystem. So join today at ionicacademy.com. Okay, so we have this mask which is validating our input. Uh, we can replicate this, of course, uh, to the second one. What was the second? I think it was the time. Uh, was the time mask? Again, same predicate is used, but now, uh, okay. I mean, you can hear this. And if I input this, we see that the input changes to the exact time. So this is a pretty cool thing. 
in itself and i think this is going to be very very helpful already in this uh, basic state so only add your options you might have to consult chat gpt to find the right uh, regular expression if you're not uh, an expert in that uh, and then you have the predicate function which is pretty much the same now moving on there are a few more things that i want to quickly show you about mosquito from the mosquito documentation because they're not covered in the ionic documentation so in ionic you will just find the basic usage and you're going to find um yeah, the default usage of a mask for a cool card input, which is cool, and the US phone number, again, this is just standard stuff using the right um, masks for those inputs. Uh, but what I want to show you is the preprocessor and postprocessor. So let me add two more um, masks. I'm going to actually, well, we can leave them in here, won't hurt. Let's add two more. So we now have this number mask here, which allows us to add digits, a comma, and then more digits. And what I want to do, or what the what this is doing, is after the user has entered something, it will process the inputs. So you got action, um, different action states here, the data, and then you could do something like this, where you simply replace every dot with a comma. That is possible. You could also do this either pre, so we have a pre-processor field here in the options, and we also have a post-processor. So for the post-processor, this would, uh, for example, make everything to uppercase. Uh, so let me let me get two more items. Uh, first one was one of the first one. Uh, it was about uppercase, right? Uh, let's call this name and uppercase mask and then we also had the post one which was some kind of number uh, and then we had the number mask I think right so let's see so for the name once again I can't of course type numbers and if I go for a name it's putting everything in uppercase for the number um, okay that's gonna be a bit harder to show but if I now press a dot it just transforms this into a comma and then I can follow the scheme. So I can't press dot, dot will just make a comma here because we have enabled the uh, preprocessor here. And you could of course do all kinds of crazy things with that if you wanted to. So that is another option to fine tune Mosquito to your needs. On top of that, there are plugins. So I'm gonna create a mask.ts file here uh, and copy in the code that I found for a plugin on the mosquito page so this is quite interesting so again it is just a mosquito options object so there's mask preprocessor postprocessor plugins and overwrite mode uh, this is just the mode how it um how the input the value changes if you put like something in the middle here um so a plugin is more of like giving you more control over the input and what mosquito is doing so in here for example what they did is they added an uh, event listener before input and they checked if the input was prevented and then they dispatched a mosquito reject um, custom event so i could catch that you could do cool things with that so if the user inputs something maybe you could even like check for profanity uh, and then reject this and throw a custom event to show it to the user. That's quite cool. Uh, I was shortly stuck on how to actually use this because the documentation wasn't completely clear about that part. So what I figured out finally is that I can, let's do another uh, input. I'm gonna call this one CVV and I'm gonna give it a template reference so I can finally use this um, we will use some kind of options for this and then we will go back here so now I'm gonna add the read only uh, options equals my mask so I should be able to import that yes exactly and then I will be able to use it that by itself won't really change anything only that this is now a CVV input which allows me to put in three characters. Uh, I hope my head is not covering this. I'm gonna, uh, for a second, comment out this stuff so we only see this. Um, and now, how do we actually get the custom element? Uh, well, we could, for example, add a view child to our input. Actually, I call this CVV. The input element, yes, will be defined. Then we say implements after view init from Angular and ng after view init uh, we use 
the input element to get the underlying element and then listen to the mosquito reject element that we just had and show something like an alert invalid character. So let's try and here we go. Now we're able to see this alert and of course there could be a cool ionic alert so just add the ionic alert controller and then you would have uh, even an even better time with this. Okay, uh, let's finally bring this back in and let's show you one more thing. We always have one more thing, right? And that is we can also use all these masks that we have here to use them as a transformation, um, almost like a pipe. You can actually also use mosquito with a pipe. So let's call a function set value. And in the set value, um, let's see, how do we do this? Uh, we should probably, yeah, let's have an ng model. So we're gonna have a variable a, we're gonna assign this to the um, digits only thing here. So ng model. Oh, the code completion was already right, right? So ng model assigned to A. We got A. And I can now on click set this dot A to a value, of course. I could also, for example, what is a per what's yeah, let's let's use something that's not allowed. I'm gonna try to set it like this. I'm honestly not sure what's going to happen. <laughs> Uh, this is a nice try. So expand. Why do I do this? It's totally unnecessary. Um, and on click, I want to call uh, set value. Set value. So what would happen? I'm, I'm actually not sure. I think this won't work. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. That's great. Oh, perfect example, Simon. Thank you. Um, so if you trick mosquito and you're directly accessing the value of a variable, for example, for our ng model that's connected to this input field, then you get into trouble. You get into trouble because the mask is not applied and you are able to um, go around the digits only mask. However, if you use the mosquito transform and pass in uh, A, B, C, one, two, three, D, F, four, five, six. Um, and as a second argument, you pass in the mask you wanna apply, for example, the digits only mask. Let's see what happens. We only get the numbers. That's like applying the mask to every kind of input. So you need to be a bit careful in how you assign the values. This also works if you're using um, a reactive form or form controls. Um, if you want to patch the value or update the value, you should be careful. Maybe a mosquito is doing something automatically in that case, but it's always safe to use the value with mosquito transform and applying the digits only mask. So here we have it. Uh, we have a cool number input. We have a time input. We have a name input to uppercase. We have um, the exchange of a dot to a comma and we have the CVV with a custom plugin and alert. So I think this should cover all the needs of Ionic developers that had really problems and struggled with this in the past. I know um, you were always asking for currency masks, for uh, phone number masks and all sorts of things. And I hope with Mosquito and Ionic 7.1, you should be able to achieve all of this. If you want to see the code, link below the video to the Ionic Academy. And if you're not yet a member, of course, check it out, become a member, and I will help you to build epic Ionic apps in no time. So see you inside the Ionic Academy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, of course, and I will catch you in the next one. So until then, happy coding, Simon.